Hi YouTube Knitters! I wanted to show you I've almost got my palindrome scarf knitted here. I'm doing some Christmas knitting. Uh, and I, I really like the pattern. It's uh, very easy to do, easy to m memorize. It's a 2 pl two by 2 ribbing. It is completely identical on the back side. And if you like the pattern, it's a it's a free pattern. You can look it up on Google. Just look up palindrome scarf, and you'll find the pattern. Or I think it's even on Ravelry if you're a Ravelry user. And what's going on here is I have. If you look at the pattern on that, Google will find you. Normally, it's uh, three cables. But it tells you if you want to make it wider, you can add 12 extra stitches. So I have four cables here. I've already knitted these two. The reason I wanted to show you is I've I found a really handy way of not having to use a cable needle, even though it's an eight-stitch cable, and that means that I'm going to have four <coughs> stitches off my needle at one time, and that can drive you nuts. So what you do, as you can see I'm a continental knitter, you want to make sure that you slip the next four stitches purlwise with your yarn in back and go ahead and knit the next two stitches. Now with the yarn held in back, and you will go crazy if you don't hold it in back, so you want to make sure you remember that, you come back in and you pick up the four stitches that you already slipped and put them back on the needle. So it, it will look like this and this is how it looks from the top. And that's correct. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip those stitches off the needle and there's not going to be any needle in them. And we're going to leave these slip stitches on the left needle because that's where they belong. They haven't been knitted yet. So you just kind of slowly back your knitting out. And you want to pinch your knitting between the finger here and, and your thumb. It helps to keep them from moving around. Now they're off the needle and these stitches are on the left needle that have been slipped and that's correct. So now uh, I just put them, slip them right back on the right hand needle. I don't need to work them again because they've already been knit. And I come in and knit two and purl two. and knit two. These aren't cabled. This is kind of in the gutter between the patterns. And purl two. Now I'm going to show you the next eight stitch cable knitting it English style, which I also do. But I want to caution English knitters that they want to make sure that the row, at least the row before, that they knit a little less tension because otherwise it really makes it hard to get the stitches on to transfer over here because you've got two stitches in uh, both needles and if you're a real tight uh, English knitter like I tend to be you have to make sure that you're looser. So you just do the same thing only where the only difference is your hand is holding the yarn in the right side. So you come over here and knit two, purl two. Again the yarn goes to the back. I want to show you that you have a loop here that goes over your slip stitches that works the same way whether you're continental or English uh, knitter but they will get covered up when we do the cabling so you slip those four stitches back on and this is why you need to do it looser especially when it comes over here you're further away from the end of the needle so we're going to do the same thing we're going to scooch this out and leave these four on the left hand needle and then pick these up with the right and we go ahead and knit two oh, I got something wrong here I went too far over I have an extra stitch here and just slip it off. 
you know, once if you pinch the stitches, this is how you fix the mistake. You just pinch the stitches again. Now I, I had one extra stitch. Hey, life isn't perfect, don't we all know it? So I've been having the Google uh, YouTube video shut down on me, and so I've had to redo this a couple of times. And my yarn is splitting a little bit. There. Anyway, it doesn't make a difference whether you're knitting English or Continental. It's how you feel about your knitting when you're done. If it's pretty, yippee! <laughs> Uh, if my uh, hands get tired knitting Continental or English, I switch back and forth. And I try to keep my tension the same between the two of them, although it's a little easier to knit this pattern, I think, using Continental Method. Anyway, I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.